here we go. So caps of Kissy um stuff. You ready? Yeah. Hey, I'm Mark. I'm getting sprayed in the face with bear spray. Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by, I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. This time we're gonna be talking about protective masks or gas mask, pro mask, whatever you wanna call it. Specifically, the CM7M from Mira Safety. Now, this is a review a long time coming and I do wanna to apologize to Mira Safety for taking so long but I think that I've been able to put this through a little bit more than what other reviewers have done. Now, full transparency, Mira Safety sent this to me, but they have not paid me to say anything good, bad, or indifferent. Um, they just said, hey, here's this, give it a go and see what you think. And that's where we are. My question to you guys is, do you own a gas mask? Pro, pro mask, whatever. If you do, what kind is it? Is it like military style? Is it civilian style? And the reasons why. Why do you have a protective mask if you own one? That was a big question that I had with my uh, workout coach, my cameraman, Hefe. Uh, he and I talked about that. Now, for me, it's a no-brainer. I have one. I had one before I even had this sent out to me. I had a uh, M50 Pro mask, it's a military type that just so happened to fall off a truck. <laughs> but uh, it's a part of my kit. It's a part of uh, my kit for the last 23 years, whether it be I'm in the military because it's a sensitive item in the military or just having one to have one as a civilian. It's just, it's just no brainer for me. But the question for me is for individuals who've never been in the military and don't really even think about this type of thing, why would someone want to have one of these? And I thought that he had a really, really good answer. Essentially what he said was, if you have a rifle or a pistol, it can defend you regardless if you're able to hit a thousand yard shot with a rifle or a 50 yard shot with a pistol. You just maneuver yourself, you mitigate that situation to put you in a better position to defend yourself with those two tools. If you get into a situation where you live out in suburbia like I do and have to drive into the big city and maybe a mostly peaceful protest just so happens to pop up and you're kind of trapped in the middle of it. Um, if CS gas gets dropped in it, you either have a mask or you don't. There's no mitigation factor there. You either have the tool to help you breathe or you don't. And when he said that to me, that really kind of clicked in my head because I do a lot of traveling and um, it it's now going to be a part of my traveling kit. A lot of people is like, well, Mark, you, you should have had that with you all along. And you're absolutely right. But after discussing that, that was something that I uh, had never really considered before. Now, let's talk about my review process because as mentioned, uh, there's probably a number of videos out there already from other YouTubers who've, you know, talked about it, they took it to the range and they shot it and stuff like that. But have they worked out in it? Have they been shot in the face with bear spray? Well, I have. And let's talk about my experience with that. Naturally, the CM7M is designed specifically for a duty use style uh, protective mask. They have several other types out on the market today. They have a full face shield one, uh, which might be something you should consider. And we'll talk about that here in just a little bit. But uh, realistically, this one is designed specifically for you to better um, shoulder a rifle to uh, get a good cheek well with this. And, you know, with, like the other videos, I took it out to the range, shot it with my rifle, and I had no issues, no issues whatsoever. Uh, so that's pretty good. Now, if you're shooting with this on, typically you're going to be in contact distances, probably less than 200 yards. 
So with that being said, know that you're probably going to need to cant your rifle ever so slightly to get in behind your red dot or your iron sights a little bit better. And uh, with that, uh, canting your rifle, you're not going to lose too much accuracy at 100 to 200 yards. Now, if you're wearing this and you're trying to fight in 300 yard distances, you might want to find a different fighting position, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, but this will uh, do just fine with shouldering a rifle. There is a, a bit of a hang up with this particular style of um, gas mask when shooting pistols. We'll talk about that here in just a little bit. But uh, for me, I didn't have any issues whatsoever drawing my pistol and shooting. So um, yeah, it, it's very similar to what I first started with in the military at the M47 uh, protective mask. Uh, and then the military moved on to the M50s. So let's move on to gym time. Uh, I took it to the gym. Huge shout out to Kanza Strength. Thank you so much for allowing me to swing out and um, bring not only the Pro Mask, but also my rifle and the Mantis Blackbeard to do some training. Three, that was two, done to one, prep myself no. for the tactical games uh, some months ago. And uh, they were like, yeah, man, come on out. It'd be, co it'd be fine. We, we don't have a problem with that. So thank you so very much. While I was there, I was pulling some stuff. I was pushing some stuff. I was bringing my rifle up to bear to shoot. I was picking stuff up and moving them, shooting again, dragging those things back, turning, shooting, and then running, and so on and so forth. So uh, with all of that movement and exercises, uh, I didn't have any issues with this kind of fumbling around on my face. I didn't have any issues with this, um, the ability to breathe. I guess that's the, that's the best way I can say it. What do I mean by that? Well. Sometimes, especially if you get into some inexpensive pro mass, you're going to run into a situation where something might get clogged up and you can't breathe. And um, realistically, I didn't have too many issues with that whatsoever. If I did have any issues, it was because uh, I was uh, you know, blocking the port myself. Now, when I was at the gym, I did remove the canister and uh, we'll talk about the canister here in just a second. That was for a safety reason, uh, to allow a little bit more air because I am under duress physically when uh, training. So for, um, you know, liability issues, <laughs> uh, specifically for the gym, I went ahead and removed the, uh, the filter to ensure that uh, I didn't keel over. <laughs> but uh, no issues there. It stayed exactly where it was supposed to. So then let's move on into the bear spray stuff. And uh, that was something I was kind of apprehensive of doing. This filter has a born on date of January of 2022. It has an expiration date of February 2042. So you have a 20 year shelf life. However, once you break the seal on this particular style of filter, it's going to start to degrade day by day. And this has uh, been sitting out for the last eight, nine months, I would say. So I was really concerned of the efficacy of this filter after being sitting around for so long. This type of filter uh, is very similar to what you would find uh, in the military. It does have a 40 millimeter thread pitch on here. So if you have any type of NATO style uh, filter, it will attach on. The mask is set up to accept the canister on either side, which is good for your left and right-handed people. Uh, and then one other small little tidbit is you have a drinking tube here. It just kind of clips on and then you flip this open to get the male portion of the drinking tube to marry in with the canteen that they also provide. Very similar, again, to what I used in the military. So that is really, really cool. I guess this is uh, actually used by the Czech and uh, Latvian armies, I believe. Uh, one of the Baltic um, countries up there anyway, Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia, one of those are using this particular uh, pro mask. So uh, that should tell you a lot about it. But went out to the range 
and uh, got shot in the face with bear spray. Huge shout out to American Cash Exchange for allowing me to use their range on a regular basis. I do appreciate them uh, so, so much. That's my local gun shop and they really take care of me and the channel for you guys. And I really do appreciate that. But I was very concerned about this protecting myself, not only because of the filter and uh, it being out for so long, but also me having a beard and not getting a good seal on this. Got shot in the face and lo and behold, no issues whatsoever. I really, really did like that. Still good. Don't feel anything. Can't smell anything. I'm good to go. got that point here. Lenses are yellow now. Yeah. Look at all that. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Thanks, Mirror Safety. Thanks. You kept me safe. Good on Mirror Safety for setting something up that is going to do anyone well on not only a duty type situation, but even if you have it and you popped open the seal, you know you've got several months of filtration, depending on your environment. Keep that in mind. Uh, if this is going to be stored in a car day in and day out in the middle of the summer and the, uh, the, uh, the depths of winter, then your, your results are going to vary. So keep that in mind. So let's talk about uh, the downsides to this style of ProMask and a full face style ProMask uh, just really, really quick. First and foremost, this style of ProMask is something that you're going to have to train with because with these two eyelids here, you're going to end up losing a lot of peripheral vision. So if you're not used to grabbing your firearm uh, without looking, then that's something you're gonna to need to practice. If you're not used to picking up your rifle without looking down at it and bringing it up, you're gonna to wanna to practice that. If you're not used to grabbing your magazines from your battle belt and inserting it without looking, you're gonna to need to practice that as well because you end up losing so much peripheral vision that uh, if you haven't practiced it, you're gonna see it the first time you wear this at the range. So keep that in mind. Now, here's the issue that I have with this style of mask for individuals who are cross-eye dominant. If you bring up your pistol to shoot, for me, I'm right-handed and right-eye dominant, this is no problem. This mask, I had no problem shooting my pistol. However, one of my best friends is right-handed and left-eye dominant, so he has to shoot with his left eye. This style of gas mask is going to make it extremely difficult. You're going to have to exaggerate your motion. Most people can bring up their pistol and you know both eyes open should be no problem. With a gas mask on, you're going to have to not only move your pistol to one side, but also tilt your head as well to exaggerate that motion so you get the best um, sight picture sight alignment with this on. That's where you might want to consider a full face shield uh, style pro mask. Mirror Safety also has one as well. I don't particularly have one as of yet, but I have used it with the M50 uh, pro mask from what the military uses. And it's not, it's not a big thing. It's not a big deal at all. Um, full face shield is a lot better for individuals with uh, cross eye dominance. However, my understanding and what I have seen with the full face shield styles is you're going to get a more difficult um, cheek well on your rifle. So just keep that in mind when you are using this as opposed to another. This one is made specifically for rifles, uh, whereas the full face shields are probably going to be uh, something for law enforcement that is mainly going to be using their pistols. Things to consider, things to keep in mind when choosing the right pro mask for you. The main thing about the Mirror Safety Pro Mask is that they are extremely affordable. Uh, pretty much anyone can uh, pick one of those up, and I have links to those over at fitandfire.com. So if you guys are interested in picking one of those up, then you uh, can find it there. And I would appreciate you swinging on by. In addition to that, if you're not signed up for the Fit and Fire newsletter, you can uh, do that while you're over at my website. It's a great way to find some really good deals, some training, and then get in on the giveaway that I do every single month. 
as well. So with that being said, that pretty much covers it. What do you guys think? Sound off in the comment section down below and let me know the uh, reasons why you would want a pro mask. And if you do have a pro mask, the reasons why you keep one with you at all times. So we're gonna go ahead and get out of here again. Thank you so much for swinging by and being a part of the channel. If you haven't already subscribed, I would appreciate you subscribing, give me a like and sharing it with your friends. That being said, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. As always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Catch you guys later. Bye, y'all.